Hello everyone, I'm excited to show you today some of the new features in Firepower 10 Update 1. This update is free to all registered Firepower 10 users and let's go ahead and show you some of its new capabilities. I'm going to open up the main demo that's shipped with Firepower 10 and let me go ahead and run it. And we're going to run it in Windows but it'll look um, and behave just as nicely on mobile devices if not even better. Now I'm going to open up the list view walkthrough and the new demo for Transparent and WYSIWYG. Now it's called Transparent WYSIWYG because what you see at design time is going to look exactly the same as what you see at runtime. And we'll, we'll show you that in a little bit um, of how easy it is to design your, your forms and, and the layout. And you'll see how much you can appreciate the WYSIWYG capabilities. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, break this down, um, this component here. Right now it's showing you a car. It's going to have a memo field. It has two different buttons and different colors. They have rounded edges. That's using Firepower 10's new TW button component, which is new to update one. We also have an image in the background with an effects property that we can adjust the brightness. And that's also new in Firepower 10 update one. And there's a lot of other effects and we'll show you that after uh, we get through the list view walkthrough. There's three different labels here and they're also all aligned to be inside of the T layout One's left aligned, one's right aligned, and one's center aligned. And you can individually customize the colors or the fonts within them. And it's just, again, just changing the properties of design time. There's no code at all involved in doing any of these things. And I can click on a button here, and you just then at that point, you just change a tab page, and the code is just one line of code. And over here, I'm going to have another line of code that opens up another tab page with a record view component on it. The record view component is a firepower component that's been also been enhanced in update one. It includes uh, the ability to have background images and transparency. It also has a new grouping capability, which we'll show you when we go over the record view. All right. I want to show you a couple of other demos that have been modified from the original Firepower 10. And this is a multi-dimensional demo. And this is, again, using our list view or layout grid. And it has multiple columns and multiple rows simultaneously. So that's what we call it multi-dimensional. It's still tied to either a data set or your in-memory structures, or you can load it with code as well. In this example is tied to an actual data source. So I can scroll through the records and the background uh, will be transparent. And then let me go ahead and show you one of the other demos, the vertical layout that's also been changed to be able to have a background image. And this image is actually um, has, is blurred, so the text is a little bit easier to read. Let's move over to some of the other new capabilities now. Uh, let me go first show you the grid and the controls in grid. This actually was added in Firepower 10, but some of you may not be aware of the fact that it can embed track bars and progress bars and, and also use a new control called the color combo edit. And that lets you drop it down and select a color. You can also use incremental searching. I type the letter R, it'll start searching for the first color that matches the letter R. And then I can just select it by entering the return button. And that's all I wanna show you in that one. Now let's go over to the image control, which is brand new with its effects property. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to change different effects of the image control. Before all you would be able to do is change whether it's tiling or whether it's uh, stretching. Now you can actually change some of the color operations, some of the uh, effects such as blurring or sponge effects or brightness. Let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and modify the blur. And now you can see that the image gets blurred. You might wonder why would you wanna do that? Well, in this example, blurring actually helps sharpen the text. And so does even changing the brightness. If I darken the, the image, you notice that the text kind of pops out at you, where if it's too close to the color, uh, of the background, then you kind of lose some of the crispness of the text. So it's very nice when you have a background image to be able to control the brightness or blurring or the sponge effect. Let me reset the effects here and show you the sponge one now. Now you know it's very similar to the blur, except the actual image looks like a sponge now instead of just being blurred out. You can also change the tint color, and that'll change kind of in a subtle way the color of the image. There's also a ability to change the color property, but this is better for 
kind of images that there's not that many colors. It's going to change too much of this particular image, and you really won't be able to make out what's really going on. So this demo is not that useful, but you'll have some other images that it'll be quite nice to have that. You also have the ability to invert the image, and that's going to invert the colors so that the bright ones, bright colors will come out dark, and the dark colors will come up bright. You can also flip it horizontally, so it's like a mirror image with the mirror being in, uh, horizontally down, sorry, vertically down the middle. I can also flip it vertically, and now it'll be kind of upside down. Let me go ahead and clear the effects and show you the grayscale. The grayscale just takes away all the colors, and all the colors are approximated through some intensity of black and white. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is the new features of the Record View Control. It now supports transparency, custom backgrounds, header text, and unbound columns. So you don't even need a data source. You can just use this generic editing uh, groupie control. So let me go into that. Um, this one is actually tied to a data source, but you can see there's actual groupings in here. I have name as a group under the company name, first name, and last name. I have another grouping called address, and that one's grouping city, street, state, and zip. And I can change that in this demo. I can go ahead and put change the headers to on. And now it's going to show, instead of lines here, it'll show like a background header uh, look for this panel. And in addition, it does support background images. As you can see here, there's some kind of tiled background here. And if you want to group unbound controls, that was shown in the image control. This is actually another record view control. And these uh, controls are inside our record view and they're bound to a property of the image control. That's about it for today, but be sure to check out a new video that we'll be uploading shortly that will go through step-by-step -step how to accomplish the tasks that we showed you in the running app. All right, thanks guys.